Good day, global crypto enthusiasts. This is 88 Fantastic coming to you Saturday, June 1st, 2019. All right, before we uh, we got to get going here, we got to do some totals because this is our every Saturday faucet portfolio update to see how we're doing. Let me clear off a couple of things here. All right, what do we see? And then we're going to do a quick refresh. We got Bitcoin sitting at 8,528. 8,528 with a weekly gain of 5.97%, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, as of last week, Bitcoin was coming off. Uh, last Saturday, Bitcoin was sitting at $8,016, $8,016, with a gain of 9.54%. We'll go to our free money portfolio. We'll just mark that in at 518 Last Saturday, we were sitting at $485. So let's see what our return this week was from 485 to 518. 6.8%. Ow! Outstanding week. Uh, last week, sitting at 485, we had a 9.97 gain that week. So this week, uh, we had gained uh, $33 with almost 7%. So that's how many weeks in a row? I'm um, just trying to remember here. So if we're going back to early April, we are sitting at eight consecutive, eight or nine weeks where we've had positive straight growth, and Bitcoin has gained at least. I think it's this is this might be one of the smaller weeks at 5.97 percent. Bitcoin last week was 954. The previous week 694. The previous week 774. Uh, May 11th was 7.5 percent. May 4th. From April 27th to May 4th was the last time Bitcoin showed a negative in a, in a seven-day period, which is absolutely outstanding. So we'll just have a quick uh, look at our free free money here and we'll see what we did. Now, with the, with the price increasing across the board, like we've been talking about, the rewards get smaller because the price gets higher, so you, your rewards have... Uh, 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 carry more value so what did we gain this week um it's i've slowed right down on actual bitcoin because i'm trying to find again with uh like with uh, bitcoin uh, the rewards are just so small right now like uh, one to five or six sats that's about it so i'm trying to find some new ways to earn bitcoin without the manuals or the auto so i'm checking out some uh, paid to click and surfing ads and stuff like that i'm about a week away from uh, cashing in the minimum totals and if the, if it's not a scam site and I'm able to cash out um, my PT, my paid to clicks and my surfing, and I can get them into my Faucet Hub wallet. Then I'll do a video on it, but not until um, we actually get paid for it. So with Bitcoin, um, we only gained uh, 2,900, uh, just about 3,000. So that's not a whole bunch because we're trying some new methods. And then let's see what else we got here. Our Ethereum, um, we ran Auto Faucet all week, and we gained 23,000 sats. With our Litecoin, we gained another 44,000 sats. With our Dash, we gained another 33,500 sats. And then we saw the price of Ethereum Classic just boom this week. And I gained 324,000 sats off of ETC. And our Digibyte as well, we've seen the price uh, jump really high from basically uh, 0.12 to 0.16. And we gained another 38 Digibyte. All right, so as we get going here, we wanted to uh, take today's video We'll go through the market first, and then I got some really good news for you guys. And then we wanted to talk about um, how the media, how this market is media driven. And uh, I'm even going to put my foot in my mouth today with one of these articles because something that I've been trashing for a long time has had some really outstanding news. So, again, what we wanted to do is bring out this calculator and we wanted to talk about the Tron um, Twitter from the other day. So, the other day, Tron was sitting at zero. Uh, 282 and where do we see Tron today we see Tron at 0386 point zero three eight six so from Justin Sun tweet four or five days ago his project went up almost 37 percent and Tron he still hasn't announced today's tweet yet so I went looking for it I still haven't seen what his June the first announcement is supposed to be so he uh, three four days ago he comes out with an announcement at uh, talking about how he's going to have a um, uh, another tweet about possible whatever it's, uh, a tweetable FOMO about FOMO about a tweet and it still hasn't come out yet but yet his project has still gained 37 percent and they've done nothing right 
So the other one we wanted to show you on that one was the other day Ethereum Classic had uh, uh, news came out about the hard fork with ETC. And at that time, Ethereum was sitting at $8.02. And where do we see ETC right now? $8.61. Eight sixty one. So just uh, just since yesterday, they've gained another seven point four percent. Let's see if that reflects in their chart. No, see it only shows three percent on the twenty four hour because I checked at a different time. And then the other one was EOS. Um, they've had a bit of a slide back today, but EOS will mark in at eight oh two, and we'll just give me his two percent. But EOS is news, is, and that's where I'm going to put my foot in my mouth today, is that uh, EOS was at 802. So when we say um, the cryptocurrency market is still media-driven, that's exactly what it is. There hasn't been any um, anything in the, in, in the physical, actual happenings, but it's all been media-driven on things that possibly or potentially could happen. And um, you see certain prices have gone up in the projects, but the market is still staying exactly where it is. So let's give this one quick refresh. We got a 270 uh, overall market cap, and we got Bitcoin at 8528. This will take a few seconds to reload here. And then we're going to go through uh, the market over the last 24 to 36, and then we're going to get through some really good news for you guys. There's some really good news, and there's some absolutely horribly disgusting news. This just takes a while because we're loading up the entire market right now over its uh, 24 uh, to 7 days. Come on, baby. Bitcoin going up 6 bucks. Alright, so now our main thing is let's check out what's going on the 1 to 24. Bitcoin, uh, honestly, not much happened with Bitcoin last night at all. It literally, um, literally stayed at 8,500 literally stayed ethereum getting back to its 270 mark xrp was at almost 45 cents the other day bitcoin cash was almost at 460 eos i do believe had hit almost 850 litecoin still struggling to get back to that 120 mark bitcoin or binance coin is still getting trying to get back to its 34 dollar mark esv well again we'll just leave that one alone because his news today is absolutely gross and fucking disgusting. Here's one that I have to apologize to a friend for is the Tron uh, price of Tron. And if anybody's looking at the price of Tron right now, that right there at 0383 is the highest price Tron has seen since July of 2018. So we were looking at the charts on Tron last night and it was at 032, 033, fighting back and forth, back and forth. And a friend of mine thought, Ah, it's going to go up to literally like 049. He thought it was going to go up to 048049 last night. I'm like, dude, it hasn't even hit 038 in over a year. The highest it's going to go is 037 today. You wake up this morning, and now Tron is at its highest price in the last entire year, but they haven't done anything, and all he's done is a tweet. So it shows you how infantile and how this market is still in its infancy when... One out of the two Twitter masters pumps out a tweet and his project goes up 36, 37% for nothing. Okay. Sorry. I mean, I like Tron. Like I said, I, but I said Tron's tech is not a top five tech. It's not a top, top 10. It's not. It's literally the guy can tweet like a madman and he's him and uh, CZ over at Binance are just simply the two best at marketing. It's not like his, his project's any better than anybody else. So. Uh, let's just give everything a quick scan. You know what? Let's have a look at our market caps and see if there's any movers and shakers. So right now we see in the 4, 5, 6 spot with Bitcoin Cash, EOS, and Litecoin, these can flip at any time. And with the news that I'm about to show you here, I fully expect EOS to move right up into that 4 spot. And there's a chance that EOS in the next 2 to 3 weeks can actually take out XRP. That's just from, from the news that we're going to show you here in a few seconds. So who else is pretty close here? Uh, Bitcoin SV and Tether, well, depending on how uh, Bitcoin SV uh, responds to this news feed, it could actually, it, it should fucking slide with this news feed, but knowing what, uh, how um, uh, the eagle maniacs and the absolutely childish attitudes that are in the BCH and BSV camps, bad news and, and demoralizing people could probably propel their project knowing that these scumbags, so... Uh, where are the other ones we were looking at here? Stellar, Stellar and Cardano look like they could flip again this week. Cardano coming back on strong again. And then what we're seeing here with the late push from Cosmos, 
who knows? Cosmos has been running strong for about two weeks right now, and everybody else is just kind of fluttering right now. So these, from 13 to 16, these guys could flip at any time. Um, with the great news that's coming out of the Ethereum Classic, even though it's a delayed hard fork, even the news of hard fork has really, really pushed it. Uh, let's see if there's anybody that's just, let's look for double digits here. BitTorrent, outstanding, triple green. Chainlink, triple red, below a dollar, so gross. And sliding down the rankings. Uh, triple green, holo chain. What else we got here? Monocoin, still coming off its 200% pump fucking week. So sick. Aurora coin, after its massive pump and dump again. Same thing we've been talking about. Same coins. And like I said, at some point, they're going to bludgeon these. Like, just bludgeon these things hard. Komodo back into the three triple green. But again, Komodo was up at about, uh, around $1.70 or so. But anyways, um, again, the market since yesterday has actually slid back a little bit. Um, we see EOS, we see Tron, and we see ETC really having good solid uh, last 24s. We'll come back here and refresh that after our news. All right, so here's article number one. As gross as it gets. Bitcoin SV's Craig Wright accuses Binance, Tether, and you know what? They forgot to add Bitfinex because he had it in his title yesterday. Uh, of using their money to fund prostitution and slavery. This is yesterday's news, and honestly, it was such a disgusting fucking article, and he, he announced it live in Toronto, Canada yesterday. Again, um, I don't know why somebody would invest into somebody that has never proven to be the person he claims to be, has failed at it multiple fucking times, and then he's calling out people as um, prostitute runners and fucking slavery runners, and you guys still buy into this project? All right, so anyways, um, let's actually read some of this because I'm only going to go through the best news of the week, I'll say for after this article. In addition to the notorious Sataki Nakamoto saga, in chains, Craig Wright caught the crypto ecosystem's attention by making a rare appearance at a conference in Toronto. In the middle of a short-lived 93% spike recorded by Bitcoin SB's trading value, as always, Wright made news again after making yet another infamous accusation. <coughs> a recorded clip of the incident surfaced on YouTube, so you can come over here and click onto the clip and have a look at that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. And he says, Binance, Bitfinex, and Tether use Bitcoin BTC to fund illegal operations for pumping money, such as illegal money travel and the illegal use of people smuggling. So how, right now, 30% of Binance funds women in prostitution. 30% of Binance and Tether funds women in slavery. So you know what this scumbag is doing? He knows he can't prove everything that he says he is, so now he's put himself in a position of paperwork to litigate and sue anybody that accuses him because he can't prove it. So now everybody else that wants to do it has to prove it against him rather than him actually proving it. And again, don't forget, he did this on national TV years ago and he couldn't open up his own fucking wallet i'm sure the guy that created bitcoin could open up his wallet with fucking 18 blindfolds on and maybe a hand tied behind his back and this guy couldn't do it at 100 percent health with his vision and, and two healthy hands so when i see this this tells me he's taking a page out of the u.s government's playbook and now he's going to blame he's going to do everything if you guys go back to like 2017, early 2018, what did every American television station say? Oh, Bitcoin, it funds illegal transactions. Bitcoin's used for fucking drugs. That's what this fucking idiot is doing right now. He's taking a page out of the U.S. government's playbook, and he's literally trying to run stupid people. And you know what? It's working. He's got, right now, to me, everybody that follows BSV and BSH, you guys are trailer park fucking trash. Most of you probably haven't even fucking graduated and can barely fucking read. That, that, that's the crowd that follows BSV and BCH. Ignorant fucking trailer park trash. How do you support something like that? Get the, tell me the fuck up already. Anyways, let's, I want to find that really, where's my good article? Where the fuck is EOS? There we go, right here. Okay, so for me personally, I have totally bashed EOS until today. 
today today I stopped bashing them, but I still I still doubt. Okay, so here's the article. EOS announces launch of Tether USD on its blockchain as it re receives support from Coinbase. This article came out late last night. Um, and I'm going to let you guys go through this because what they're doing is they're, they've teamed up with it. Uh, they've been talking about this and so, been telling their community uh, with Block One to be ready for uh, the June the 1st news. And you've seen EOS's price absolutely pump for the last two weeks, right? So what, te what uh, EOS is doing is they're, let's see if we can see it here somewhere in the announcement. They're gearing up with a German company that's going to run off of their blockchain. Uh, following these up okay, this guy here from CNBC, this guy's a fucking idiot too, and he's on somebody's payroll. Da, 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 da. Block one, the founding company of EOS chain is launching a blockchain powered competitor to Twitter. Participants will be rewarded for engagement using tokens that represent a portion of the ad revenue. I'm just trying to find on this article because the one I read last night actually shows the German company that they've, uh, that they're doing this with. At press time, EOS was valued at $8.30 $8 with a market cap of $7.61 billion. The 24-hour trading, trading volume of the coin noted to be $5.51 billion as it reported 12% growth over the past day and over the past seven days, 28% growth. Just super solid. So anyways, um, this project, what they're doing is it's... Um, this article just doesn't do this justice. So EOS has teamed up with a German company. They're not only going to compete with Twitter, but there's also rumors that uh, they might take it a, a step further and um, add a, a, an additional social pl media platform on top of competing with with uh, Twitter as well, right? So the other thing that they've come out and said, there, there, there will be absolutely no data sharing, no data selling. Um, if anybody wants to actually share, when this actually goes through you can share your data but you um, in order for somebody to have your data you would have to give permission by signing off on it through your private keys so no if anything ever did get shared it would have to be through a hack and um, this is absolutely monstrous news this could actually propel um, I mean, like I said earlier um, this is over at ambcrypto.com if you want to come read it um, this could really be, be the equivalent of the Facebook coin the Libra coin later on this fall so if, if eos is successful with their german partner in this and they make this thing go and they can actually bring some competition to facebook and twitter awesome 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 but again to me i've always called eos the paper champion because they just they haven't put anything out so if you can get this going and after two years of not doing anything and this is finally the thing that you guys do then you does it definitely deserve a definite pat on the back so i won't uh, bitch about eos anymore i'm not going to complain about eos in here but you know what come out get it done on time you've had more than enough time to prepare for this make sure you've tested all your shit because you don't want to be like everybody else you're going to put it out there and then fucking something goes wrong and then the price is going to tank so we'll have one more uh, market looky here again after 15 20 minutes nothing has moved we are still sitting sideways let's check our 24 hour volume and we'll see if uh, Tether is still in the number one spot. No, so now look at that. Yesterday's video, there was 30 billion in Tether. So now we've got another 8 billion in play. So that tells me that the traders have made their choice. And we're going to see by, uh, it's uh, only one in the afternoon here. We'll see what they do with it. So Harmony pops into the top with a market cap of, or trading volume of 600. Wow. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. I um, just wanted to come and show you uh, we gained another uh, over 30 bucks this week just from the price of Bitcoin and the market moving up. So now we're sitting at well over $500 after five months of doing this. So we're averaging about uh, $103, $106 a month in free cryptocurrency just by clicking I'm not a robot filling out a CAPTCHA in my spare time. So I've now got over $500 to play with in, in the market if I choose to put it in there, which I'm not, because we're gonna wait till everything booms again. Probably later on th this summer, we'll start, we'll start trading it out. So that's all I got for you guys. So to be safe out there, watch this market, watch those three that we were talking about, watch the price of EOS now, watch the price of Tron now, and watch the price of Ethereum Classic over the next week to two weeks, and we'll keep track of it with you guys as well. So this is 88 Fantastic showing you how to take a bite of the cryptocurrency market. Take care, y'all.